What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel in this week's video. I'm going to do a legs walkthrough today. Take through the session, show you how I train legs. We're at Norton again today. It's going to be absolutely savage. It's going to be blood, sweat, tears and a few other things. <laughs> That's for sure. I'm going to hit some massive weights, get some big PRs today. And I'm not going to talk too much about it now. And I'll catch you when we're in there. I always start my leg exercise, my leg workouts with laying hamstring curls. Just to stretch out the hamstrings. A few warm-ups to 10. A top set and a back-off set. Not going completely to failure. This machine hinges the hip a little bit so it helps to open up the hips for your pressing movements on quads. <sighs> Double hit, one top set, 12 to 15, one back off set, another 10 to 12, and then we'll get on to the next exercise. Right, so now we move on to leg press. I'm going to try and get 11 aside before PR, but what I'll do is start with a plate and then go up two plates aside each set until we hit 11. So one, three, five, seven, nine, and then 11. What you want to do is lean back so you can get yourself further down. If you lean forward, you're going to get stuck here. Lean back, get a bit further down. You don't want your ass to come off the, off the bench, off the seat. Right, let's load some fucking weight on. Right, we're going for six for a PR here. Got the standing pendulum squat next. Three warm up sets, two plates, four plates, and then a single with six plates, and then we move on to seven plates for another single. And then I'm gonna do my top set of eight plates. I've never never done eight plates before, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough. Every the reason why I didn't do a back off the leg press is because I did all those warm-up sets, was it five warm-up sets leading up to the top set, so that's enough volume for that. the best with my life and half it was people walking past the footage. Backed up with a two-stage rest pause, which I dropped down to five plates, a lot more, more controlled. That three-second eccentric, like a mini pause, micro pause in a hole, nothing too long, but it just stopped me bouncing back out again. I think that's failure. And I waited 20 seconds and went again. So, taking a little break from quads now. I like to go hamstrings, two quads, hamstrings, two quads, and then a hamstring at the end, so four quads, three hamstrings, just to break it up a little bit, give a bit more rest and go extra savage, really ruining quads. Back onto quads, next got everyone's favourite exercise, the hack squat, the warm up, one plate, three plate, do a rep with four plate, just to feed into five plates for the top set, you're going to get as many as I can, go for another PR here, you want to make sure you don't put your feet too high up the pad, because then you'll be using more glutes and hamstrings, but Keep your back against the pad, give me like hips and posterior motion. You just want to be pushing completely with your quads here so you come down. Below parallel and.
right, for, the, for the back offset here, we're going to do 21s. You might have done 21s for your, uh, for your biceps before, so where you go, seven like this, seven like this, and then seven full ones. But we're going to do this on the hat squat here. We're going to drop down into the hole. We're going to come up just above 90, like halfway up. Seven of them, keep it nice and slow. Not bouncing them, just nice and slow, really contracting the muscle. And then when we hit the seventh rep, from halfway we can go to the top, then back down to halfway, like that. Seven of those, again, keep the control on what we're gonna do then. Try and get seven full ones if we can, then we're gonna try and go for as many as we can. It'll be absolutely savage. So yeah, coming down, nice and slow. Coming up, just to here, one. And then from here to the top. Right, so we're finishing off quads with leg extensions. What I've done is three warm-up sets of five, including this one I'm about to do now. Then pop set, go for a PR. Then what, what I do for my back off, I won't film this because it's long. I start off with what I finished on, so I'm gonna do 90 for 15, but I'm gonna, this time I'm gonna do five. Dropped 85, dropped 75, 65. and I get to 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. All 10 reps, maybe at 20 with the 10, but we'll see how fried we are. I really want to control the intensity because I'm focused on squeezing at the top, not just swinging it up. So. Half reps to finish off. <sighs> finish off the workout, do warm up sets of 10 reps. Everything should be warm and worn out by now, but it's better to be safe than sorry. So, this set's failure, I'll try to get 15 to 20 reps. Then we'll finish off with triple drop set, just really, really, really put them on fire. And then we're done. Really squeeze, come slowly up and keep your toes up. I'm really squeeze in this bit. It's easy just to swing in and out like this. And you're not really doing anything, you're more driving your hips. <sighs> if I keep that in there, some, some good vocals to you. <laughs> that's going to end it for this week's video i hope you did enjoy if you did make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video to your friends Just send it to a friend that's got small legs i'm back up at uni now so my next video is going to be in power base uni gym i'm going to walk through another workout I haven't decided which one i'm going to film yet i'm sure i'll let you guys know before next week's video goes live anyway but that's all for me for now i'm out